Alright, alright, alright. Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. My name is Jill Lincoln and today we're going to talk about Baron or Inhibitor. Which one is the better objective to take down? Alright, so a little backstory here. You can see in the background that I have a re solo queue game played in there. Because in my solo queue game, we actually had a really good fight in the mid lane. and managed to get the upper hand. We killed the enemy jungler and uh, three other team members. And I thought at that situation, alright, this is a good Baron call. But um, we had to decide whether or not we want to go for the Baron or the Inhibitor. And our jungle said Inhibitor is better than Baron. So <laughs> we followed his call. But actually, is it really better than Baron? Um, I think we can... I can give you some pros and cons. And then we can see if it really is better than Baron or not. So what are the pros of an Inhibitor? Um, first of all, you have the line pressure if you take it down. Um, you have the line pressure through Super Minions. Which means, which actually means that you don't have to be in this lane. It pushes the lane by itself, and if no enemy team member defends that lane, um, they will lose Nexus to it, and eventually even the Nexus if they don't defend it at all. So the pressure is a really good point here. However, um, the pressure needs to be on a side lane, ideally to be really effective, because if it is in the mid lane, the enemy team just gets kind of free experience in gold. Because here is the contra of having an inhibitor, yes, it can have contrast. If you don't play it correctly as a team and you don't take that farm in the mid lane because the super minions are pushing it, um, you're gonna deny your own team experience in gold. Um, if you don't pressure uh, another lane at the same time, the enemy can just farm that lane and actually catch up in gold in experience. So you give them an opportunity to come back in the game, which is actually the biggest contra for taking inhibs, inhibs down. And in solo queue, it's often played wrong that you take an inhibitor down and then you don't go for another objective. You don't bait the team into fights or you don't actually take another objective like Baron. Um, that was the exact case in my game. And uh, this is how my, the enemy team made, managed to come back here um, by stealing the Baron at a later point. And um, they almost won the game because of that. So let's get to the pros of Baron here. Um, Baron actually has a lot of pros. And... Um, I'm gonna start with the gold. You get 300 gold for the for killing the Baron. 300 gold, global gold. This means your whole team gets um, 300 gold individually, which is a lot. And um, additionally to that, everybody gets global experience, which is often oftentimes forgotten about. And it's a pretty decent amount of experience. Um, it gives you extra attack damage and AP damage, which is um, gonna help you team out in fights. This means that if you struggled in team fights before, taking Baron is actually going to help you manage to to, to um, boost the team fighting potential. Um, another thing is uh, that empowered minions that you get with Hand of Baron, the actual buff, it's called Hand of Baron that you get after killing it. Um, that empowers your minions. They get extra statistics, and uh, they are much harder to wave clear. And um, I think with Baron, if you you don't even have to play, uh, you know, this macro orientated with Baron buff. You can probably also just split into two lanes and pressure them and um, group up to one if you are in front of a turret and just take it down because it's really hard for the enemy team to take down the to 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 take down the minions. So the only contra, in my opinion, for taking Baron is that it is a really 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 risky objective. That means if the enemy team steals the Baron, as you can see in that in the replay here. Um, if the enemy team sees the Baron, they will actually be very likely to come back in the game. Alright, taking these things into consideration, I think that the Baron does not only seem like a better objective, I think he is a better objective to take down. Not only because of the hand of Baron, but also all of the all of the pros that I listed here. However, you cannot always go for the Baron. This is another thing, right? You need to take things into to consideration in the particular game and um, definitely think about is the enemy jungler there can the enemy jungler steal the baron and uh, if the enemy jungler is dead i think you can definitely try to go for it um however the risk of losing the baron should be almost zero if you want to go for it unless you're super much behind in the game and then you want to go for a risky baron then it's fine i guess but if you're ahead you shouldn't really risk losing the baron because it might actually lose you the game if you lose it, so um, only go for the Baron if it's safe to do so, and um, we cannot really draw a universal conclusion here, but um, I would say in in new games, think about the things I just said to you, and uh, hopefully, 
you can manage to climb. All right. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I am a streamer and a coach. Um, I would love to um, get the support of uh, from you guys over there. And uh, I mainly stream as well. All right. Bye-bye, guys, and see you next time.